Welcome, everybody. Um, I am looking at the names. I know I've met with a lot of you already. What's up, Jeff? What's up, James? Good to see you guys. Thanks, thanks for coming on um, and accepting that invite. Um, my dad asked me to do the presentation and the webinar today. I'm just kidding. Michael's not my dad. Um, I've asked him to adopt me, but he just keeps ignoring the request. Uh, but we are going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, just wanted to say hi and meet everybody. If you haven't met me yet, please reach out. Uh, we have Rachel here. We have David here. Uh, we'll go over uh, questions and stuff and what we'll do with that in a minute. But let's get let's get that uh, ugly mug out of the way so that I can you guys can see more of the screen. You guys could see the PowerPoint up there. Before we jump into everything, I want to kind of explain to you um, what our thoughts were behind doing the webinar uh, and Michael asking me to to jump in. Uh, for right off the bat, I like to be a hundred percent honest with everybody. Um, I have not been trading for ten years, five years, a year. Um, some of you on here that I've met with, you, you can attest to the uh, dedication I'll give you. I'll meet with you every day, text, share things back and forth, trades. Um, but I do not have Michael's experience. I do not have Ron's experience. Uh, I have not been here for 15 years, you know, working on the software. Um, I promise you my analogy game is not going to be as good as Michael's. Um, man, that man can pop up movie quotes and analogies like, like nobody I've ever seen in my life. Um, but what I will tell you uh, that I think is a huge advantage that uh, for everyone that's here is that I sat in the same seat as you just six months ago. I have never, I'm sorry, six months ago before I started trading, uh, I never even heard of a future. Didn't know what a future was. Uh, and I, in a short couple months with working with Michael and Dorian and, and some others at Back to the Future, I have become consistently profitable, was able to leave work and come do this with Michael and Rachel and Dave and Ron and everybody here. Uh, pretty much has become my passion, pa passing this on to people. Um, but it is very different than, than what Michael does, which we'll talk about in a moment as well. Um, but quick little funny story. Uh, if any of you grew up in the 80s and 90s like I did or are familiar with the Back to the Future movies, I actually found the company through the Apex website. Uh, which we'll talk about funders a little bit later too, something we don't always touch on. Uh, the little logo you see up here, the flux capacitor. Uh, I grew up, my father, I'm 42, my father is 75, and I still have to listen to flux capacitor jokes. If I call that man and tell him, he's been a mechanic his whole life. If I call that man and tell him that my, uh, my car is, uh, you know, making this sound. Oh, did you check the flux capacitor? drives me insane uh but things happen for a reason that's how i found the company that's how i found michael and we literally hit it off within our first meeting and like i said i didn't trade before i didn't have you know thousands of dollars to put into an account and start trading so my thought was that i'm going to invest in the software and that was after meeting with michael and being in this very same webinar that you're in if it is your first time and you just started with the time signals today, uh, which we'll go over them in a minute, but you know you should have your forecasts on the website that Rachel puts out every week. Thank you, Rachel. I know it's a lot of work. Um, I didn't have great success when I first used it, right? I was just buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling when it's set to. And if you look in the handouts, there's a histogram handout. I want to make sure I point that out. Um, you can learn those patterns in that book fairly quickly. Michael puts pictures in there. It's outstanding. Um, as we'll look at in a minute, every buy signal is not a go long. Every sell signal is not a go short. But the patterns will help you determine and make warp as accurate as it can be. All right, so I just wanted to point that out real quick. Um, I have been in your spot. Uh, I've probably met with 60 some people since I've been working here for about three months now. And it sounds like we've all been through the same thing. We've been on YouTube. We've watched every strategy um, that, you know, 
everybody's got the perfect strategy. You watch somebody make $3,000 a day, you're going to do it. Uh, I love to share that I passed my very first Apex account uh, on the NQ. I traded like seven contracts because I thought that's, you know, what you did. And I passed my Apex account and went into my fiance and I said, baby, we're going to be rich. And then I paid the $130 and blew the account the next day and then probably failed about 30 accounts in the meantime uh, before getting this system down. Uh, so hang in there. It takes time to learn and just, you know, reach out. Even if you're not a paying customer yet and you're using using the uh, free uh, screenshots that we're going to go over, reach out. You know, what trade did you make? Why didn't it work? We, we will have the answer for you. OK. Uh, so, like I said, I met with Michael. I love the software. I sat in this same webinar. And over the past six months, uh, I really past three to four months, I have taken it a, a little bit further and I've combined a couple of our indicators, uh, which is the one thing you guys are going to see a little bit uh, differently today that we don't always do. I am going to share what I do every single day. You know, Part of Michael being the, the owner and Ron, they have the trade with the five to 10 different indicators and strategies that we have and show it in all the rooms. I trade one chart every day and I'll go over that with you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, I can help you out 100%. Um, so before we get into all of that, I just wanna go over a couple quick things. You guys are gonna see some different things today. You're gonna see different charts. You're gonna see different strategies. Uh, please don't panic when I share a chart that's got a white background and doesn't have the lavender and the blue candles. Michael's probably having a heart attack right now if he's, if he's listening to this. Um, but that's just how I trade. You know, I can share workspaces with you. You can change the candle colors to whatever you want. Uh, I use PBT differently than Michael. If you are in the, the trading room with Michael, you know, and you're learning that strategy, stick to it. It works. You can see it work every single day. Um, the trades are amazing, you know, but I like to kind of use this. Here's my one analogy. I'm going to give you, I might get, maybe I'll give you another one, but uh, I like to use the analogy of diets or workouts, right? Any diet that you do, any workout that you do, if you stick to the rules, it's going to work, right? You can lose weight on Weight Watchers. You can lose weight on a keto diet. You can lose weight on Atkins. Every single one of them is using the same thing, eating healthy, but different techniques. So I actually talked to a client earlier today who you know, asked me why I took a trade without a pullback. I don't trade pullbacks. That's Michael's strategy. Different strategies you know, for different people, and you need to find what works best for you. Even after meeting with Michael in the beginning for a while, he introduced me to uh, Dorian, who I'm sure you've heard the name a million times. Dorian, if you're here, how you doing, buddy? Um, that man doesn't even work here. Well, he does now, he does mentoring, but when I met him, didn't even work here. And he spent hours and hours with me, helping me learn how he trades work. Then I integrated PVT, and over the past three months, honestly, um, trying to look through the names real quick, um, uh, with a lot of the people that are on this uh, webinar right now, um, I have implemented things that I've learned from customers. You know, I told you guys I've only been trading for six months. I had a customer the other day ask me, how do I trade without VWAP? And first I, I giggled like a little girl because I thought that was a really funny word. Um, and then I said to him, I haven't heard of VWAP and I don't know what it is. Now I use it in my strategy. Uh, so what I'm going to show you today is a combination of PBT, warp, things I've learned from Michael, things I've learned uh, from traders like you guys from working with and just from doing this for you know the past six months. You are probably going to have a lot of questions. Um, my name is Charlie. Sorry, I just looked over at the questions. Hey, someone just told me no audio. You guys can hear me, right? I hear you clearly. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, Daryl, it uh, sounds like everyone can hear me, so hopefully um oh perfect thank you everybody uh my name is charlie I, I forgot to say that fun part in the beginning not charlie charlie with two l's um i'm from philadelphia pennsylvania apparently it's a 
northern thing that people can't pronounce Charlie. So my parents decided to spell it that way. Um, but thank you, James. Thank you, everybody. Perfect. Yes, this is recorded, Lawrence. Um, so with regards to the questions, uh, I want to kind of get through this so you, so everybody's not sitting here for you know a really long period of time. If Rachel or David or I don't specifically answer your question, I will go back and look at every single one of them and I will reach out to you. Thanks, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Um, I will reach out to you. I will send you screenshots. I'll do whatever I can to help you or clear up you know anything that we're, that we're going through here. My email is begin, B-E-G-I-N, the word begin at backtothefuturetrading.com. David's is David, D-A-V-I-D, at backtothefuturetrading.com. Uh, I think Ron was worried people weren't gonna be able to spell Charlie, so I got the email begin. Um, so if you have any questions, please put them in the chat and then you can always reach out to us via email as well, okay? Um, before we jump into the charts, let's go over the most important thing. Um, I love how Michael does this, but like I said, we're gonna do it a little bit, a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna simplify it with a little bit less charts so I have time to show you how I trade every day. Um, but basically the reason we do this is something that I also learned uh, a short period of trading. I had no idea. Yes, I can write the email for you. It is begin at back to the future trading.com and David at back to the future trading.com. Um, why do we do this? Right. I'm not going to lie to you. I sat in your chair. Like I mentioned, my very first presentation with Michael, I uh, wasn't so sure that the banks actually control the markets. And uh, I love that he showed me this unlevel playing field thing here. Uh, another great analogy. And it's the truth. You can look at and I didn't pull all of these up because I don't want to bore you too much. But any of you that have been here long enough, you've seen us share plenty of screenshots and charts of reports and the unbelievable thing is that warp predicts it every report all right but the great thing about those reports is you'll get an unemployment report that comes out at 8 30 and unemployment's down right great news right and the market tanks that's because we don't have control over the market and part of my job today besides sharing some strategies with you is to help you understand that if you don't believe it already. Um, every person in this room should believe before we leave that banks do have patterns. And not only do they exist in the markets, they repeat over time, okay? I'm gonna keep the PowerPoint short. And what makes us different from everybody else? I can tell you right now why I bought uh, six months ago because we are the only company that gives time predictions in the future. Um, now that I sell the software, I've had countless conversations with people. And in the short time I've been here, I've never had a single person yet not blown away about the time signals into the future. You want to see five signals in advance. You want to see five days in advance. You have that option on work. There is nothing like knowing the times to strategize your day. Um, and then we give it to you for free for a month just to show you how confident we are in it. We will give you the strategies. Uh, we'll go over this a little bit more later, but just to give you a little bit of idea, what we do support wise is I share all of these documents with my clients. I have Google Sheets with uh, ES trading plans all the way from when to get in, when to get out with screenshots. It's only a couple pages. Uh, all the way down to the ATM strategies that I use that are automatic and will move for you. Now, if you guys want that information, like I said, reach out to me. We don't have time to go over all of that today, but that is the kind of support that we give you. Uh, I'm pretty sure every one of us in this room, including myself, has bought the YouTube uh, packages where you get classes and videos and the strategy works for a day and then you can't get in touch with anybody. Um, so that is not what we do here. Not only do we have the software that is unlike anything else, um, we also, oh, good for you, Jeff. Show, show them the 650C trade. 
Uh, Jeff says, show this 356 trade today where he's 1585 in the green. Jeff, I would love to show that. Let me see if it's the same one I have. Um, so that is why we do what we do, okay? Before I get into how I do what we do, let's bring over some of our normal charts today. Um, let me see, let's pull this over. Everybody should have access to this. We're gonna go over the ES from today. We are gonna go over uh, the NQ later. I always trade the one minute. Uh, we'll go over uh, the CL. We got the YM on here, a couple things on here for you guys to see. Again, if you have any questions or you wanna see specific charts or why did I do this at this time and it didn't work, reach out to me or David via email and we will get that answer to you, okay? Uh, but let's look at the ES3 minute and let's just pick a few times on the sheet that Rachel loaded for us, ES3 minute. Am I on the right one? ES3 minute. Ah, yeah, there we go. 1036, we have a sell. 1103, we have a buy. 11.45, we have a sell. Let's just go over and look at a few of them. Here is our 10.36. Sell. All right, do we want to see if you got in right here? And we always get out when the candle, at least my rule, I always get out before the candle closes for the next signal. You're looking at $970 trade. Uh, on one of your first trades of the morning doing the three minutes. I don't know if you've noticed yet uh, from how fast I talk or how I jump around, but I have crazy ADD. Um, I can't do anything longer than the one minute charts. I can't even look at the three minutes or the five minutes. Uh, drives me crazy, which is why I use the strategy that I use that I'll show you guys um, in a little bit because I don't want to look at a five minute chart. I don't want to look at a 60 minute chart. I don't care about the trend. I just care about the strategy and it works great for me and I'll show you that guys in a minute. Uh, at 11.03, oh, doesn't help if I'm on the ruler. At 11.03, we have a buy time. Up until 11.45, you have another $637 trade. Two trades and you are over what, $1,400? You're like me and you use funded accounts that's a heck of a payout on uh 20 accounts and you can go through any of these charts on any day uh i recognize some of the names you you all have been here before you have seen this 12:45. we have a buy that goes up let me try to there you go this is an example of what i was talking about with that histogram book uh you can see the histogram book there in the handouts if you are not using that histogram book the software will not work. For example, at 2.33, we have a sell time, okay? 2.33, you have a sell time. If you're just looking at that picture and you're going, oh, sell time, I'm going short. You're losing money right now, okay? I know you don't have warp that shows you the pattern for, but if you read the histogram book, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, pattern four is simply a new low of one of these three candles, right? So when you have a new low, Michael's histogram book tells us that it is more than likely going to reverse on you. I tell a lot of new traders, not skip your fours and fives. You don't need them. Ron would have a heart attack. I think Ron only trades fours and fives. Uh, Michael loves fours and fives. Again, a matter of preference, but if you're just looking at a 233 sell and you're going short, you lost money here. A pattern four will tell you what it can reverse. And again, we do all of this training for you. There are countless hours and hours on the customer center um, when you do decide to purchase the surf software and change your life like it did for me. Uh, all this information is there for you. I know a pattern four might not make sense to you right now, but it's basically a new low. And then you can look right before it was a pattern five. Pattern five, we had a new high since the last signal. If you're just looking at that line and you're buying here and going long, you lost money. If you are using the strategies given to you with the software, 
you've got a pattern five here that's reversing and you're either skipping it or you're taking the reversal. We're very big on trading with the trend. Um, I know a lot of people that you know like to trade what they think is the top of the zone or the bottom of the zone and get the reversals. I'm a trend trader, it's what works for me um, and it's what's worked for all the people that I've helped to train. So let's look at another one here. Oil, I preach to people uh, that you're gonna get more successful trading if you stick to one single chart. I tried trading the multiple charts in the beginning, trading the ES, trading the NQ, and it didn't work for me. Uh, it may work for you, it didn't work for me, but I gotta be honest, every single day that I send people uh, charts and screenshots of the CL, I'm like, man, why, why am I not trading that? Uh, here is another thing you will learn when you buy the software and with your training. This is one of my apps. Actually, this is two of my favorite trades in one. If you look right here at 1233, we have a buy signal. You also have the ATR line here, okay? We call this a puncture trade. If you're new, puncture trade. If you've been here before, you've seen Michael talk about this all the time, okay? Um, a puncture trade is when a candle closes opposite of the signal. We also have a crossover of the EMA. So this is two things telling me I have a sell before, I have a buy that's going against me, I puncture it, and I cross over to EMA. I am getting in when that candle closes. And I'm getting out when the candle closes before the next signal. $1,870 on a single trade on the CL. And again, if we want to sit here and look at all of them, we have a buy, 1103, it went up. Here's another puncture trade, pattern four, pattern four. New low, reversed on, just like the histogram book will show you. Uh, YM, nice little trend day on the YM. This is um, the three minute, yep, three minute on the YM. Let's go back a little bit further. Um, up, down, up, crossover trade. Pattern five, you can see your reversal. Another pattern five and you can see your reversal. Um, I do like pattern five continuations. For example, if one of these candles broke that high, usually a very good sign that, that it's gonna keep going. Um, so I do like pattern fives and pattern fours if they are continuations. Um, but again, it's up to you if you wanna trade them or not. Um, matter of preference, strategy and what you like. All right, so now that we have gone over all of that, I'm going to share with you guys something a, a little bit different and we are going to go over how i trade every single day on the nq one minute um i want to share with you also the week so far and please do not think this is anything um of a bragging my mission is to do this for all of you uh, just like Michael did for me and Dorian did for me and, and helping me learn this software and then me coming up with the strategy I'm using right now. Uh, these are the five days this week. Um, I use <coughs> funded accounts. Here's my other analogy for you guys. Uh, I have learned that funded accounts is like uh, one of those topics like uh, religion and politics. Uh, don't bring up at parties or around family or friends um, unless somebody asks you the question. Uh, it can turn into a very heated debate. I've, I've had people yell at me that um, it's stupid to trade with somebody else's money. You're giving 10%. Um, other people think it's the most genius thing in the world. You are entitled to your opinion. I'm just sharing to you what my opinion was. I would not have got into trading if it wasn't for the funded accounts. Uh, I was able to start with Apex when they did their 90% sales. 
And while I was learning, if I if I lost fifteen dollars trading and not three thousand dollars, great. Um, I also think that even if you have a negative connotation on it, let me put this out there. I feel that the funded accounts have changed the way that we need to trade. You know, five years ago, um, if you wanna make three, $4,000 a day, you're either adding contracts, which is more risky, or you're taking more trades and more signals. Every time you click that buy or sell button, do you know what you're doing? You are putting more risk on the board. No matter how good your strategy is, no matter how good the software is, every time you click buy or sell, you are putting more risk on the board. That was something I struggled with and I found out many traders struggle with. Uh, for me mentally, I do not trade the same, whether I have money in the green or in the red. When there's money in the greed, I trade more carelessly. Uh, this is before getting disciplined over the past couple months. But when there was money in, in the green, I trade more risky. When there's money in the, in the red, I revenge trade. I could sit there and tell you all day long that I'm not and I'm following the strategy. You are absolutely not. It is a mental thing and you do not trade the same when there's money on the board or money off the board. So the way I use the funded accounts is to make one single trade every day. If I make two and I did not hit my goal, I am done for the day. Uh, did everybody just have a heart attack? Send, 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 me some, uh, send me some chats in the question here. Is everybody sick with their stomach looking at a white chart with uh, red, green, and yellow candles? It's uncomfortable, right? Unless you've already uh, gotten this training from me. So this is what I trade with, warp and PVT. And my goal, as you just saw, oh, where'd it go? There you go. My goal, as you just saw, is to make $200 to $300 a day per trade. If it takes two trades, great. I'll do the two trades. Um, and I have a two trade limit. If I trade and I made $50 because I had to get out of the trade, and then the next one I made $100, I'm in the green after two trades. I'm closing that computer down. It was not easy getting to that. And to be honest with you, I couldn't sit at the computer. I had to walk away from the computer, uh, close it down so that I didn't keep trading. Um, even when I do my demos from 12 o'clock until 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night, you know, you see trades all day long using the software. But the strategy that I use is my, my, it's a little funny to say, but my target um, is around 450 to 600. My goal is 300. If I make a trade and I'm anywhere near that $300, I'm done for the day. I scale two contracts on the NQ. If I trade the ES, I scale three contracts. All of these things that you're going, what do you mean? What's your ATM? It's all automatic. It's all set up. Um, I can help you with it. Don't stress over that right now. I just want to show you what I use. This is the NQ one minute. And everybody can still see the charts, right? Everything's still coming through good. Can I get a yes? All right, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, if you've used PBT before, you already know. If you have not, these are not your normal red and green candles. For example, you can see that these candles right here opened higher and closed lower. On a normal chart, that's a blue candle. On my chart, they're still green because PBT is telling me that buyers are stronger. Simplest way to put it. Candle closes green, buyers are stronger than sellers. And if a candle closes red, sellers are stronger than the buyers. When you got a yellow candle, it is changing from buyers to sellers or sellers to buyers. 
Yes, I am using the uh, same warp settings, the uh, 714.8. Yep. Um, the only thing I do a little bit different is the PVT in the candles. I do not use the heat map down the bottom because I need simple. I need simple. I like to see it on the bar. Okay. Uh, the only thing I've added in the past couple months is the VWAP. Um, I use pivots, which is free on NinjaTrader. And I use the VWAP as basically support and resistance on whatever side I am on. Okay. Like I mentioned to you before, I can share all of this with whoever's interested. I follow four simple rules. I only trade market hours and 99.9% .9 of the time, that is only morning session. And I think one day in the last three months, I didn't make my trade in the morning. Um, number two is I only trade with trend. I just told you I don't sit there and look at 30 charts, right? When I say trend, I simply mean above the EMA or below the EMA. So sell signals above the EMA mean nothing to me. Buy signals below the EMA mean nothing to me. Unless I have a puncture trade. All right, Jason, no problem at all. Um, if you look up a little bit, I put the email on there. It's begin at backtothefuturetrading.com um, and david at backtothefuturetrading.com. My email is begin and David's is david at backtothefuture.com. Um, and yeah, guys, please reach out. This is my passion. I love this. I'm excited about it. Um, I get yelled at all the time from uh, Michael and Rachel because I meet with people on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, whatever times you need, uh, I'll make work. Um, but where did my rules go? All right. Trading with trend, buy signals above the EMA, sell signals under. Now, of course, right, this isn't just a simple point and click, right? There are some, you know, you do need to have some trading knowledge. Like, I'm not just going long with one candle if we've been below the EMA, right? I'm still using some news in the back of my mind, like today, expecting, you know, to be um, a bullish day. Uh, but I am not looking at multiple charts. The only other charts I will have up when I trade the NQ is the ES one minute and the Russell one minute. Um, I do like to have those up because a lot of times those three work uh, in confluence with each other. Uh, for example, just like this morning, um, I hope this doesn't upset any of you and um, that you can appreciate it. This is 90% of my days. Uh, if you're new, first, before I get into that, if you're new, there is nothing like getting on at nine o'clock in the morning and seeing your next five signals, 10 signals, um, you know, as, as far out as you want to see. For example, let's go, it's 4.30, we haven't closed yet. This is what your chart is gonna look like. If it look like, I'm getting an accent living in North Carolina. Um, you are going to see however many time signals you want to, okay? So take this right here back to nine in the morning, all right? I get on at nine in the morning, I draw a horizontal line at the overnight high, I draw a horizontal line at the overnight low. And then I'm looking, all right, what's it been doing so far? Well, we've been around the EMA pretty much all night and who knows what's gonna happen, right? Uh, this is a day where you're following the software. So I know at nine o'clock that I'm looking at 9.30, right? 9.30, I have a sell. Oh, don't know why my chart's all squeezed here, but that is a pattern four. So I ignore it. Ah, I apologize. I forgot a very important rule before I show you the trades. Uh, PVT. I only take a sell, like I mentioned, below the EMA. And if PVT is red, I only take a buy if I am above the EMA and PVT is green. At 10.35, here is a great example of how if I'm just using warp, I may have gone long here and lost money. But the fact that we're at a new high of the session and I have red PBT, I am ignoring that buy signal. 
PVT for me was the game changer to make warp even simpler. Okay. So this morning I get on, I look, 9.30, I can't do anything. 9.33, yeah, my rules say I can't trade the NQ until 9.35 because it's like a roller coaster the first five minutes. If you trade the NQ, you know exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. It's like a, like a rodeo. Um, so my rules are don't trade until 9.35. At 9.35, I have green PVT, but I'm both below the EMA and I am below VWAP. Nothing. Here's another good example of why PVT is crucial for me. I have a sell signal at 942. I am below the EMA and I'm below VWAP. If I'm just using warp, I'm going short there and I might've got stopped out unless I stayed in past the buy signal. But because PVT shows me that buyers are stronger, I don't go short there. Same thing at 947. We got a buy signal, we're under the EMA. I got seller stronger, okay? Now, this at 952 was a good trade, but when I train people, I tell them the same thing for me. I am not taking a signal with another signal coming in two minutes. When I see signals within a couple minutes of each other, 947, 952, 950, not yet, 953, 954, uh, that means chop to me. So I'm ignoring that signal. Now, if I didn't ignore it, I would have made some money, uh, but I'm not getting in a trade for that short of a time, okay? 9.54, we got a buy time. We are under the EMA and red PBT. Everything is against me. No trade. 10.01, pattern four, new low. Like I told you, I do not trade pattern fours. I skip. Have you guys picked up yet on how my, oh, I'm doing quotations like you guys can see me. Um, oh, you can see me. Can, can you guys see me? Yeah, perfect. Um, back to my quotations. Uh, my success here is just following the rules in the software, right? Uh, we have a buy at 10.05. We break above the VWAP and the EMA. Some people wait for a second candle confirmation. That's up to you. Uh, what I do is I'm looking at the ES at the same time, which was also rocketing up. The Russell at the same time was also rocketing up. So I got in my trade here. I waited for a little bit of another candle. Let's see. Uh, yep. So I scale two contracts. I do one very quick at 150 bucks, 30 ticks. I do my second one at 300 bucks, 60 ticks. And I'm out at $450. And I'm done trading in what, 30 minutes? And. There you go. This is today. Can you guys tell I'm using a slightly older computer? My uh, trade copier lags a little bit with my uh, my old uh, Amazon. You know, good girl. My uh, Amazon refurbished HP here. Um, this is today's one trade. And that is my goal every day. If you kept trading, sell signal above the EMA, we don't do anything. Buy signal at 1021. We break above the EMA and the VWAP. PVT tells us that buyers are coming. I also look at the high. I'm not just going um, long here when we're right at the high of the session. Get in closer, get out before the signal. You would have made another, well, using my strategy, you would have made another $450 on that trade. Sell signal above the EMA, we do nothing. Buy signal, red PVT, we do nothing. Sell signal above the EMA with red PVT, I can't do anything. I cross below the EMA, great, I'm almost in. Now I close below a pivot 
and the EMA and the VWAP, you can absolutely get in there, go to the next signal. You made, if you're trailing your stop, you made another $150, $600, $750. Three for three, following three simple rules. I'm not going to lie to you. It took me some time to, to get it and because there are times where, you know, let's say we've been trending down all day long. I'm not just jumping in on, on a simple uh, crossover of the EMA. I want to see another candle or so. Uh, so there are a little bit of nuances and some other things, but this the strategy is that simple. Now, again, two buys and a short if you took all three of them. I did not. I take one and I'm done. Because one of my plans that I'll share with you, if uh, if you do work together with me, uh, I'm going to give you my, lo my long-term secret right now. I use uh, take profit. You can only have three accounts, but once you pass, you can take money every single day. Um, Bullinox is a recent one that I just, that's the ones you saw today. Um, I just started them two days ago, so I haven't done any payouts with them, uh, but I've known people that have used them. You can have an 11 counts with them. And Apex, you can have 20. So not only am I not using my money to trade, I'm not using my money to buy 20 Apex accounts and fund all those accounts. I'm using the money that I make uh, from doing this. Um, how do I spell what can? Is that the funders? I'll put it in there real quick. Uh, these are who I use. And just so everybody knows, uh, we have no affiliation with these companies. It's just who I personally use. Um, I'll send that out to everyone. Um, and they all do different deals. They all have different advantages, um, different payout structures. But here is what I did to get to the discipline of making that one trade, right? Because doing this all day, right? I hop on, not Apex or Take Profit, uh, the Bullinox one. Sorry, Ken, did it send? B-U-L-E-N-O-X. There we go. Okay, perfect. Um, Bullinox is also a weekly payout. So Apex for me is long-term, 20 accounts, can't beat it. Uh, Bullinox take profit, your weekly pay, right? But here is my thought, and here's another debate I get in with people all the time, and in fact, friends, we still argue about it. Charlie, you're taking profit too soon. I think Michael said the greatest thing I ever heard to me, he told me that someone told him that no one ever went broke taking profit. Um, and it took me some time to get there because, you know, let's say Ken and I get on right now and I show Ken five trades. It's hard to not sit there and think like, man, the software and the strategy works so great. Why am I not just trading all day long? Because like I told you, for me, it's a mental thing. I, after this first trade, I don't take these trades the same. Maybe it's a problem with me. Maybe it's a normal thing across traders. I don't know. Um, but here's what helped me. I pick up my phone every single day. I still do it. And I go, now I don't have all these accounts right now. So um, Ken, don't come beat me up for money. Okay. I only have about seven right now. But what helped me stop when I hit 300 bucks is I pick up my calculator and I look at a day like today where it was 465, 455. Let's take the lowest number, 420. All right. And I go, all right. A month from now, two months from now, yes. Is it Laureen? Laureen or Lauren? Laureen? Um, you are exactly right. You can do one trade with a, with a strategy that's consistent. And then I, I, must, I must be more greedy, um, Lauren. I hope, I, pronounce, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, I, I must be more greedy because I do the 11... Uh, Bullinox accounts, uh, then I add in the three long, oh, I was like, how'd you get Maureen spelled with an L? Got it, all right, Laureen, I got it, thank you. Um, so I add 11 Bullinox accounts, 
20 Apex accounts that I will eventually have and the three take profit. And $420 times 34 is $14,280. If there is a person in this room um, that needs more than $14,000 a day to survive, please invite me over so we can hang out. Um, I wanna spend a day in your life that requires uh, $14,000. Hell, I would love to make that a month um, you know, years ago. So that is the biggest mindset strategy that I try to instill in people, whether they've been trading for 10 years, 30 years, or six months like myself. Don't push through the accounts quickly. Um, I use the Apex copier. Uh, I've heard the Replicano is way better. Um, no, I use the regular, I don't use micros. I, I, I use the, um, just the regular minis. Um, but I use the Apex copier. I know a lot of people complain about it. I, I've never had issues with it. Um, I clear my Ninja Dater history every morning when I get on and I open a new copier every morning when I get on and I don't have issues with it. Um, and I heard people say Replicano is a lot better. Again, it's a matter of preference. I just wasn't putting out 250 bucks when I already spent 150 for the Apex one. Uh, but if you haven't bought one and money's not an issue, uh, do some YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, Lorraine, I agree with it. I haven't had a single person tell me that the Apex one is better. No one has ever said that statement to me. Uh, it's just, I use it and I haven't had an issue. Any copier you're using, you should always have your Ninja Trader positions open and you can see right there if it didn't work or it didn't close. Right click and, and hit flat. Um, it only takes one time of a blow an account because uh, your stop loss didn't work. Um, but but you'll get you'll you'll figure that out. Um, I don't want to spend too much time boring you guys, but um, and ladies, but I'll show you on the ES as well, just so you can see that it's the same thing. Um, a lot of times you are going to have a quick trade, um, like yesterday. I was done yesterday after 9.38, first three minutes, NQ shot up. I got in for, that was this this one here, 395, 420, 410, and was done trading in three minutes. Uh, but what I like about the software is it keeps you patient. My favorite thing is when I get texts from people. Um, I'm not sure if you made it, Mike. I know Mike said you might get on. Uh, my favorite text is when someone goes, man, I hear people are losing their shirts today in this shop. I haven't taken a trade yet. Great job following the rules. Okay. Um, yes, 9.30, we got to buy. I still recommend waiting a couple minutes. Um, the ES does not jump around like the NQ, but it still can. Uh, so I say 9.33-ish, 9.35, unless you see a clear one direction. Um, Maybe that's one of the songs I'll sing. Sorry, that was bad. Um, if, if you know, we start at 9.30 with a pattern five, it could reverse on me. I'm staying away from it. 9.36, sell signal above the EMA. I can't do anything. Buy signal. Here's another good one. If you are just trading um, with warp, you may have got in when we broke above the EMA, and then you got stopped out. I am not getting in here because PVT tells me sellers are stronger. Now I got a pattern four. I'm ignoring it. Now I have a buy. We close above the EMA. We have another candle that closes and then we start shooting up. So you could either get in if you're safe when this candle closes, you like to play a little risky, you can get in right here. But even if you just got in right here, let's see if we would have hit all the targets. Ooh, it would have been close. So when I do three contracts on the ES, First one's 100 bucks, second one's 200, third one is 300. So this would have been at least a $500 trade, maybe 600 depending on if I close the trade down. And you're done, all right? Now, for all of you sitting here who are probably gonna ask me, it doesn't bother me or it doesn't offend me, I get it all day long. Ah, oh, Charlie, you stopped trading 1045, you had a crossover of the EMA and the VWAP, Man, I got in that trade and I made 500 bucks. Great, awesome, keep it up. For me, when I trade longer, I just 
give it back to whoever of you are being successful on those later trades. Uh, so for me, it's a one and done. Um, and what got me there was like, I just showed you how to pick up the calculator every single day. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, it still burns me up when, when I go back and look and I'm like, Oof, man, that was easy trades, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, I don't need more than you know, a couple hundred bucks to a thousand dollars a day, 14 grand a day in a couple months will be great. Um, now, this does work on every chart, every time frame. I like the shorter time frames because it's telling me if buyers or sellers are stronger after that one minute. If I'm doing a five minute candle, I'm waiting five minutes to see if buyers or sellers are changing, and it could have changed multiple times. If you've seen Michael trade, you've seen the heat map down the bottom. Uh, you can put the PBT heat map down the bottom and you can have a one minute chart up top and a 30 second down the bottom. Uh, plenty of things you can do. The key is finding a strategy that works for you. Uh, like I mentioned, if you guys are interested, please reach out. I love doing this. I love helping you. Um, if you do not, let's pull that over right now. If you are a current customer, I know Michael is doing some amazing specials right now um, on the PVT where it's just a monthly subscription. So there's no huge investment. Um, if you already have Warp, you know, like you did in the past, uh, it's it's already there for you. Um, you can go to the website, go to the products page. Uh, right now we are doing a Warp off code. Same code, Michael, I love Michael, you know, realized it, that it hasn't been changed in a while. Uh, you do get a $500 discount uh, with the warp off. Um, like I said, you can also reach out to David and I, and, and we will help you figure something out and when we do the demo for you. And also, the uh, let me click on this one for you here. This is a great thing that we've just added, and a lot of people are raving about it. Uh, if you have warp, if you have warp and PBT, if you're just interested in, hey, I, I've been I've been there, right? I, I was successful with NQ for two months, and then all of a sudden it stopped working. It didn't stop working. It was a mental thing for me. Um, I got on with Dorian, and it, still, it was something so little, I forget what it was. It might, might have been jumping in the trade before the signal. I think that's what it was, what a lot of people do. Um, and it was fixed, right? These mentor sessions on here, you can do it with Michael, Ron, Dorian, or myself, um, and just get a refresher on Warp and PVT or just work, whatever, whatever you want help with, we do the mentor sessions. Um, I know Michael has mentioned it. I'm actually surprised he hasn't done it yet. Uh, this is not a sales pitch because you can meet with Michael, Dave, or myself, whoever you wanna meet with. Uh, you can buy it right on the website. But uh, I do know that we haven't changed the price in about 10 years. Uh, so Warp is going to $29.95 uh, pretty soon. I'm sure we'll still do the discount, um, but uh, if it's something you're interested in now, set that appointment, set the men uh, mentoring schedule. Uh, you do not need to set set yeah set a mentorship if you're interested in buying the software. We do the demo for you. We'll get on for you. We do the training and everything. That, that that's all included with it. Um, but then you can also do mentor mentorships after the fact as well. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Oh man, I was glad I was trying trying to get it in un, under under an hour for everybody. Um, thank you for everybody coming. Um, again, let me put this in the chat. Um, begin at back to the future trading.com and David at back to the future trading.com and send that out for you that is the emails um and then uh i'm sorry guys i, I will get all these questions out to you just so we don't keep everyone here um but yeah larry i will i will email you the website where i, I got the uh free uh vwap from it's uh it's pretty cool um Ninja Trader doesn't have one, uh, so I literally just Googled. Oh, actually, never mind, Larry. I just remembered it. It's the VWAP.com. They went all out on that name, didn't they? Uh, 
send to all. All right. And speaking of the VWAP, you know, I like it. It works for me. Try it out. You know, uh, it, I always recommend people, if you're trying any new strategy, don't just jump right into the minis or, or your accounts that you're working on or fund it. Try a strategy for a couple of weeks, either in micros or SIM. I personally recommend the micros rather than the SIM um, because SIM is another thing that's very hard for people to trade like they really would with live money. Um, thank you, James. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, and uh, yeah, Rachel was here for mental support, James. <laughs> um, thank you, Jeff. You're very welcome. You got everybody's welcome. Thank you. Um, if anybody has any questions, like I said, please email me um, and I will go over the questions real quick. And if I didn't answer any of them, I will reach out to you. Um, I'm not going to steal Michael's line where he tells you he loves all of you. So I like you, everybody. It's nice, uh, nice doing this for you. And uh, I hope to do it again. So have a great evening and happy trading for everybody.